Praise oh, God, praise Lord. God, praise God. Well, welcome everybody. Happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo yeah. por la mañana. Pastor Jose and Patricia, we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben, a church you can call home. Yeah. Amen. Where we honor God, love others, uh, love families, and pursue excellence. Amen. 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 So praise God. Thank you, Lord. Bienvenidos a la iglesia del nuevo comienzo. Amen. And uh, here we go, right on your screen there. Welcome to New Beginnings Church, where we honor God, love families, serve others, and we pursue excellence. Amen. Amen. All we ask you to do is prepare yourselves to receive. So we want to welcome all our NBC family. We want to welcome all of you that are joining us by audio or video. <laughs> prepare yourselves. God has something for me. I yes. ain't letting go, you know. We have Fellowship Sunday. Yes. And on Fellowship Sunday, we have a good, some good meals. Amen. And some of you are already thinking about that and forget what Pastor's going to say. <laughs> we can't do that. You know, uh, we, we get ourselves, some of you going like this. <laughs> so, uh, we, we forget what God has for us because we're so busy with our problems. We're so busy with our, um, our mindsets, our traditions. This is the way it needs to be. This is the way it needs to go. And if it don't go our way, forget it. You know, we're going to have a miserable day no matter what. No, he says, this is the day I have given you. This is the day the Lord has made. Yes. I will rejoice and be glad in it. But there's devils out there. There's demons out there. There's there, 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 there's giants out there. It's okay. Greater is he that's in you than he that is in the world. Amen. He is with you. He says, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. I am with you. But you have to submit yourself to God. Resist the devil. And he's going to flee from you. All these things are going to go. Yes. But you have Amen. to take authority yes that's the main thing you're a child of god he is king of kings and lord of lords Amen. and he's given us authority yes. now you got to take that authority and walk with it yeah if nobody's ever told you i'm going to tell you right now we fight a spiritual battle right we can't attack it with physical words we can't i mean we can't just physically win yes. we got to be in the spirit oh, yes. we got to get the word in us so we can speak the word out yeah. when you speak the word Things change. Yes. Amen. When you Amen. when things change, it's good for us. Amen. Yes. So praise God. So I'm excited already. Ready to preach on. <laughs> Grab your sword, soldier of God. Amen. Amen. And uh, let's make this confession, this declaration yes. together. Amen. Yes. So praise God. Here it is. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same. In Jesus' name. Amen. And you know what you're thinking? I can't never get it. God uses everybody but me. You know, poor little old me. We're always pushing ourselves down. And you're thinking about it. And you got the thought. And you agree with it. Mm. It's time you put it away. Yes. You know, say, wait a minute. The Bible says I can do all things through Christ yes. who strengthens me. Uh -huh. You start acting on what the Word of God says. Mm -hmm. Step out in faith. Mm -hmm. Peter says, I want to go with Jesus. Jesus walking on the water. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about that. But mm -hmm. Peter says, I cannot come. He says, come. He tells you there on a daily basis. Yes. Come. Yes. You can do all things through me. All things. I strengthen you. I give you what you need. Amen. Listen, he didn't put you here by accident. He put you yes. here to, to, to be winners and champions for him. Yes. To be overcomers. The only reason you're not doing it is because you're not walking it. Because you're not confessing it. Uh -huh. Because yeah. you're not doing it. You got to. You have to. Amen. You have to. <laughs> you have to. Woo. Hallelujah. I've got a few. Yeah. We're going to continue with um, choosing Jesus daily, mm. too. But before we do that, I've got a couple of scripture uh, breaks I want to read to you. And I want you to listen well. Mm. You know, we take lots of breaks. We take work breaks. We take smoke breaks. We take coffee breaks, school breaks. Mm. And uh, school breaks, we take, some of us take church breaks. We take long church breaks. <laughs> when things are going real good, we take long church breaks. Amen. But listen, this is a scripture break. Yes. If we can take a coffee break, smoke break, whatever kind of break, why not take a scripture break? Amen. Feed the word in you. Yes. Because it's going to bless you. It's going to benefit you. We yes. fight a spiritual battle. The battlefield is the mind. And you're thinking all kinds of negative things. Yes. And you're going to do those things oh. if you don't renew your mind That's with it. the Word of God. That's it. 
I want to change the way I think by renewing my mind to what the Word of God says uh -huh. and start doing what the Word of God tells me to do. Yes. And when I start confessing, it's not just good for you to have the Word, it's good for you to confess the Word. Uh -huh. Speak it out. Yeah. Let God do the rest. You don't worry about how, how it's going to happen. If you're confessing the word, it's going to come to pass. Yes, Because he, he makes it come to pass. Mm -hmm. Amen. And things change. Well, listen to this. Choose Jesus daily. Of course, it's two. But it says, let go and let God. Uh -huh. if, you pray, if you pray, leave it there. Don't try to manage it. Don't try to drive for him <laughs> like somebody does. <laughs> listen, totally surrender yeah. to God's plan. I started to say this a few minutes ago. You're not here by accident. That's it. God put you here. Yes, amen. Mm -hmm. They might have told you you were an accident, but you're not an accident. That's it. That's I know the truth now, mm -hmm. and I'm going to walk out on the truth, and this is what the truth of God says. Okay? He put you here to, to win. He put you here to be a champion, to be an overcomer. Mm -hmm. Quit letting the world, quit letting people, whether it's the world, tell you or limit you or restrict you to what God wants you to do. Mm -hmm. You're going to succeed if you continue to be obedient to what yeah, He tells you to do. That's it. He put a, He's got a plan for you, and all of it includes def, uh, win, not defeat. None of it is about defeat. It's about winning. Amen. It's about taking. Amen. And He's put everything in you. That's it. To succeed. He's put yeah. everything in you to fulfill what he wants you to do. But right. you got to stay in touch with headquarters. Yeah. You got to stay in touch with your God. So he can yeah. tell you what what I need to do. If you don't stay in touch. If you cut communications. That's what you renew your mind to do. Renew your mind. Because the world people are going to distract you. Yeah. And you need to stay focused yeah. on what he wants you to do. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise you're going to lose track. When you start going your separate way like a prodigal son a prodigal daughter of God you know and not knowing and you end up in the wrong places we've all been there okay but it's time to get back in track amen, amen. totally surrendering to God's plan totally trusting God is an act of full surrender does he have your full surrender only you can answer that question does he have your full surrender it's placing all of us in his capable hands placing ourselves in his hands yes. lord i'm giving myself back to you amen just like jesus gave back himself back to the father it's very easy to say we trust him but so often we falter we hesitate we waver we fade and we weaken that's a lot of words as wow. soon as, as soon as one of our expectations wasn't met mm -hmm. lord i told you i prayed and i told you how to do it but you didn't do it that way uh -oh. what happened <laughs> <laughs> we want it our way. If you leave, if you bring it to Him, leave it there. Leave it at the cross. That's a beautiful song. Yes, it is. Leave it at the cross, and don't try to manage it. I let go because I'm trusting Him. I have faith in what He's going to do and how He's going to do it. We get a picture in our minds of how we think God is going to answer our prayers, and when it doesn't happen our way, yes. or it's not in our timing. We lose our faith. Uh -huh. Amen. Our faith goes. You know, it's like, wow, I thought you was going to do it this way. Why didn't you do it my way? God said he wants to do it his way. It's already done. But you got to trust him or you have to have faith in him. Amen. If we truly want to trust God, what we need to let go of all of how our house and winds and just trust that he will always work things out for good. He's going to work it out the right way, his way, his timing, yeah. not the way we think it should be. That's right. Because we're totally wrong. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. If you want it done your way, then why did you go to him? That's right. If you're going to go to him, have faith and leave it there. Yeah. Sounds easy, but the battlefield of the mind, I yes. wonder what he's thinking. I wonder how is he going to do it. Uh. Let it go. Yeah. He's going to do it. Say, forget it. He's doing it. It's his. His love for us runs so deep. It is immeasurable. So we know that God will never hurt us. He says he'll never leave us. nor forsake us. That's it. He's always there for us. He said he sacrificed his son. 
just how much he loved us. He sacrificed his son. His son gave himself mm -hmm. for us. Now it's time for us to give ourselves back to him. Amen. Amen. Life hurts at times, but we can now and always fully depend, trust, and have faith in him. Amen. Man, that's a lot of words. Yes, amen. <laughs> amen. Listen, nobody's perfect except Jesus. Yes, yes. Okay, so none of us, we have, we fail, but you know what? It's time to dust yourself, get up and say, press on, amen. you know. Go Lord, on. forgive me. And you know what? He's going to forgive you. Don't yes. let people dictate and tell you that's it. he's not going to forgive you. He's going to hold this against you forever. You no. might as well go to hell now. Not our God. You know, people, a lot of people tell you that too. Go yeah. to, you know. Yeah. I'm not going there because I'm a child of God. Amen. Amen. And you don't have to go either. That's it. Amen. That's you, it. you choose. You choose. You choose where you want to go. Don't let people choose for you. Because you have to confess with your mouth. Yes. The Amen. Lord Jesus and believe in your heart. God raised him from the dead. Mm -hmm. And you shall be saved. Yes. Are you saved? You know, you need only you can answer these questions. Yes, yes. Amen. And this one I like. Another scripture break. Wow, another one. Yes. Yeah, another right. coffee break. Yes. <laughs> get stirred up. Yeah. Or you can say, get fired up. Mm -hmm. Or get on fire for Jesus. Yeah. Daily. You know, we get yeah. we get fired up and uh on fire. It's Friday, and we uh -huh. say, thank you, Lord, for Fridays. Yeah. What yeah. about Monday through yeah. uh, <laughs> Thursdays, you know? You were just dragging, you know? Oh, man, but weekend comes. I say, oh, my God, praise God. And then Sunday shows up. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, man, I'm too tired to go to Sunday school. I'm going to go to school. I'm going to go to church. We take church breaks. <laughs> yeah. So get stirred up. Get fired up. You know, we yeah. do this. You, you ever watch a game? Oh. Or you ever go wherever it is? Uh, uh, a concert, you go to a dance, you go somewhere, you know, man, they're on fire no. for whatever they're doing. They ain't worshiping God. <laughs> they're, well, they're worshiping their God <laughs> and they're jumping. You know, I've seen, I've seen people with very little clothes in freezing weather <laughs> watching a football game for three, three hours, four crazy, hours, you crazy, know, yeah. no problem. They can't come sit in church for. 30 minutes or one hour. I mean, they're ready to go, man. When they keep looking at when is Pastor going to be over? You know what I'm saying? And they forgot everything Pastor said. Well, Pastor has a message from God for you. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Come on, Pastor. But you, got, you, get, you get fired up for the wrong things. All right. Amen. <laughs> when you feel empty, when you feel you don't have what God has called you to do, the word of God gives you clear command yes. how you handle those situations in your life. Uh -huh. Here it is. Stir up the gift inside of you. Inside of you. Everything you ever needed to accomplish what God has called you to do has been placed in you. It's in me. But only you can do the stirring up. Yes. Said yes. Jesus, in me. Yes. Love, faith, power, it's all in me. Yeah. But you gotta stir it up, you know. You guess you got a stew going and it mm -hmm. smells good. Mm -hmm. You know, once in a while you have to go got stir all kinds up. of things in there, you know, you gotta go and stir it up. Mm -hmm. You want all them things to blend together. Mm -hmm. Amen. And all these things God has already put in you. Mm -hmm. God equipped you to win. Yes, he did. He didn't equip you to lose. That's right. You know what? When we get sidetracked from the things of God, we start losing. We start sinking. Peter was walking on water until he took his eyes, his faith off of what Jesus told him to do, and he started sinking. Right. And we start sinking in our world because we lost track. Yes, we did. Amen. We lost our faith. Mm. But he made us and equipped us to win, not 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 to lose. Yes, yes. Amen. Woo. So I stir up the gift that's in me on a daily basis. Stir yeah. up that gift that God has placed in you. Listen. <laughs> He didn't, he didn't forget about you. No, he didn't. You know, your mind tells you, people tell you, you know, God put you here for the wrong reason or, you know, you're here for the right reason. Mm -hmm. And he's equipped you. Yes, he is. You got to get in the word because the word is the truth. Yes. And when you know the truth, it's going to set you free yes. from people. It's going to set you free from mindsets. Mm -hmm. People, things people have said. Forget about what people have said. Do you know what people... Um, what the word said about you. Mm -hmm. 
instead of what people say about you. Yeah. This is what the word of God says. Sometimes we got to stand ourselves. If somebody gives you a word, mm -hmm. then you say, excuse me, yeah. do you have a scripture for it? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, so and so says so. Well, don't take what so and so says. Take what the word of God says. Yes. If you don't have scripture, then uh, forget it. You know what? Okay, thank you. Put it on the shelf and forget about yes, it. Let yes. it go. It's not for me. Mm -hmm. You still love pastor? Right. <laughs> I'm, stir I'm stepping out in faith. Listen. Uh, so I stir up the gift that's in me. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to wait until I feel stirred up. Mm -hmm. Don't wait for somebody to fire you up. And man, this person's always on fire. This person, you know, we always see in somebody else, but we won't see ourselves. We got to stir ourselves up. In, in him, not in the world, but in him. Says I'm stepping out in faith. You know when Jesus talked to Peter, <coughs> Peter got all fired up and stirred up and says, "Man, I'm going to walk on water." And guess what? He did. And we can do the same thing. We stir ourselves up, get in front of Him, and say, "Lord, thank you for this beautiful day You've given me. I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. And I thank you, the Creator One is in me. And I'm going to go out and stir myself and go out into this world and do what is it that You want me to do." Yeah. Because the word says I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And I'm going to go and I'm going to be his minister of reconciliation. Amen. Bringing people to Christ. Amen. Because they're going to see me. And I'm walking in love. I'm walking in compassion. Remember? Yeah. I forgot. I almost forgot. Oh. I got my Jesus glasses on. Oh, okay. Woo! I spent time with Jesus. All right. <laughs> and I'm going to have my love and my compassion glasses on because I'm walking in Christ. Uh -huh. And people are going to see that. They're going to see a smile. They're going to see you mm -hmm. and say, wow, man, I'm so glad I ran into you today. Uh -huh. It wasn't by accident. God, God worked it out. Yeah. And you know, I can't go where you go and you can't go where I go. But you know what? We bring Jesus to the world. That's it. You're the closest thing to a Bible some people will ever see That's or be it. around. For sure. Is the word coming out of you. Woo. You know, you got to get it yeah. out. And you got to speak it out for them to hear yes. it. Or, you, you know, you, they see your word. Or they hear your words and see your actions. Mm. Amen. They see your actions. And they're going to say, wow, something different about this person. I can just sense it. Mm. Amen. Jesus says... The lady said, the lady, old lady says, you know, hey, I've been to all the doctors mm -hmm. and they haven't done anything to me. Mm -hmm. They can't help me. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go to Dr. Jesus. Mm -hmm. He says, if I could only touch the hem of his garment, mm -hmm. I'll be healed. Mm -hmm. That was his, her faith. <laughs> and Jesus is walking in this crowd and bumping all over the place. And he's walking with the disciples. And all of a sudden, she touched Jesus. She worked her way to Jesus. And touch the hem. And Jesus says, Somebody touch me. See, what are you talking about? People but all kinds of people bumping on you. He says, Somebody touch me. Yes. You, you need to do this on a daily basis. Reach out and touch him. You know, before you go out into the world, I don't care what giants are waiting for you, the greater one is in you. Amen. Nobody, not even the enemy can stop you. Amen. He says he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus says, I come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Yes. So we're going to press on with him. Amen. Yeah. I know y'all are enjoying my Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. No wonder I couldn't see you. <laughs> so we're stepping out in faith. And, and you know what? Here's the thing is, I, you know, personalize this for yourself. I, yeah. Jose. Whatever your name is, put your name there. Scratch it. Put put write write your name on there. Says Jose can do all things yes. through Christ who strengthens me. Yes. He wants to use you. Amen. Do you want to be used? Or are you still going to continue the same old road? You know, I can't. I can't. Nobody. Mm. <clears throat> he wants to use you. Yes. So be ready. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Here's the scripture. John three sixteen. For God so loved the world that yes. He gave His only begotten Son, uh -huh. that whoever I'm not a whoever. I am Jose. Yes. That if Jose <laughs> believe uh, would, would uh, uh, excuse me, but who, whoever would believe in him, mm -hmm. okay, would be saved. Yes. Amen. So praise God. Yes. Uh, King James says, 
For God so loved the world uh, that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting, everlasting life. life. That's you. Whosoever. Whosoever. Mm. That's you. You yes. just scratch who is whosoever. Wait a minute. Yes. I have a name. I'm going to put my name right there. Mm -hmm. I've confessed him as my Lord and Savior. Yes. And Second Timothy, we just talked about Second Timothy one uh, six through seven says, therefore, I remind you to stir up the gift of God which is in you through yes. the laying on of my hands. Amen. And here's another one we already talked about too. Verse seven says this. It's Second Timothy one six and seven. Mm. Seven says, for God has not given you a spirit of fear. That's right. If you're fearing, it's not because God put it there. That's right. Amen. He's giving you a spirit of power, mm -hmm. authority. Love. He's giving you a spirit of love and of a sound mind. Amen. Your mind starts to wonder something. Say, wait a minute. I have a mind of Christ. Yes. yes. I ain't going there. That's it. So you arrest your mind. Renew mm -hmm. your mind to the things of God. Amen. Amen. And I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying focused on the things of God. You know, we stay focused on a lot of things. We so, stay focused and take a scripture break once in a while <laughs> Galatians <clears throat> excuse me Hebrews 10 24 and 20 25 easy to read version mm -hmm. says this let us consider how to stir one another to love and good works not neglecting to meet together yeah. as it is a habit of some <laughs> but encouraging one another uh -huh. And all the more as you see the day drawing near. Yes. We should encourage one another. You know yes, why we yes. come that we assemble ourselves together uh -huh. to encourage one another. Yes. Not to put each other down. That's right. That's, That's right. what the world does. Yes. You hear that all the time, everywhere you go. Well, yes. don't join in. You know, it's so much easier to help somebody up than to push them down. Mm -hmm. If you see somebody down, don't join the world in keeping them down. Yes. Be the one to be kind enough to let me help you, brother. Let me help you, sister. Amen. That's you. God wants to use you, even in little things like this. Love and compassion. You're going to bless somebody. Yeah. Well, thank you. Well, thank God. God, you know, told me. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to share Jesus with you, you know. One word will set people free. Amen. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, hallelujah. Yes. Galatians 6 and 9 says, And let us not worry. Or, excuse, excuse me. And let us not grow weary of doing good for in due season That's we it. shall reap if we give not. give not amen mm -hmm. so don't give up and here's a, the last one is this John 3 16 uh, excuse me uh, Philippians 4 3, uh, 13 says I can do Jose can do all things through Christ mm -hmm. who strengthens me amen. that means I have authority yes. in the spirit world if you take that authority yeah. because we fight the spiritual beings yes. in high places yes yeah. And they ain't coming down unless you take authority. And they ain't giving up unless you take authority. That's Amen. <laughs> Part-time believers no match to a full-time devil. That's right. That's your enemy. Mm. But he ain't coming down unless you taking authority. Yes. And I'm gonna take my stand and I'm gonna take <clears throat> authority. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm submitting myself to God. Mm -hmm. I'm resisting you, and you have to go. Uh -huh. He's got to obey the word of God. He knows yeah. who's backing you. Yeah. yeah. And he obeys the word yes. of God. Yes. Amen. Say, whoa, I'm out of here. I don't care how so physically or uh, how little you are, oh. but the greater one is in you. Yes. Amen. And you got to speak it out. Woo. Hallelujah. Yeah. We ain't even started yet. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> We're here. <laughs> praise, God. praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Uh, I'm supposed to read this to you in a few minutes too. So, just uh, catching up on uh, on some things here. Listen to this: Choose Jesus, who is there for us all the time. Again, yeah. Hebrews uh, thirteen five and five and six. But it says He never leaves you nor forsakes you. He's always with you. He's always with you. Amen. Yeah. Don't choose distractions. Don't choose things that are going to hold us down. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, excuse me. Uh, Hinder us. Yeah. John 10.10 10 says the thief comes. This is his mission. Mm -hmm. Except to steal and steal, to kill, kill and to destroy. destroy. Now this is Jesus' mission that he came. He says, I came that you might have life yeah. and have it more abundantly. How are you having life? Is it hard? Maybe it's because 
and the things you've said. Maybe it's because of the seed that you've sown. Seed, I'm talking about the word that you have spoken. Because when you speak words, it opens doors for the things of God, the blessings of God, or you can open doors for the enemy to come. Uh -huh. So be careful in the things you say. Uh, just don't shoot out your word gun. <laughs> A lot of us shoot our word gun real good. Some of us have machine guns. So <laughs> we have to be careful. Hey, you know what? When I was growing up, I couldn't wait to start cussing. Because my big brothers or my big whatever were saying it. My big friends were saying it. And I said, man, I couldn't wait to do these things, you know, and get to know these things. I thought I was growing up. Oh, no. And I got slapped a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> or put in my place a couple of times. Mm. And uh, anyway, words are powerful. Uh -huh. God created us, or God mm -hmm. created this world just yes. by the words He spoke. Mm -hmm. He says, Then I send my word and it goes and accomplishes mm -hmm. what I said yes. it to do. Yes, it does. What about us? We can do the same thing. Mm -hmm. So see yourself the way He sees you. He sees yeah. you special. He sees you uh, uh, a champion. He sees you a winner. He don't see you a loser. Yeah, yeah. He don't see you as a nobody. He sacrificed his son for you. Mm -hmm. Why would he put you down? That's it. That's he it. wants you to be up and up. And you got to stir yourself up and uh -huh. keep yourself up and up. Because yeah. nobody else is going to do it for you. People around you are jealous. People around you don't want to be bothered with you. The world don't want to be bothered with you. Amen? So... Keep yourself stirred up. Amen. So you can go out and do what God wants you to do. Amen. Woo! Hallelujah. Praise God. <laughs> John 14, 6 says this. Jesus said, I am the way. There's a lot of ways you can get where you want to go to El Paso or wherever you want to go. But the, if you want to get to heaven, if you want to go to heaven, there's only one way. Jesus says, He told Jesus told him. I am, you could say, the only way. The, uh, the Amplified says, the Amplified says it like this. Jesus says, I am the only way to God and the real truth and the real life. Yeah. No one comes to the Father except through me. There's no other way. No other way. I don't care who told you what. Just throw it away and choose Jesus. Amen. We're choosing Jesus daily. That's what we've been talking about. Amen. Hmm. What stops us from doing and giving ourselves totally to Him, surrendering ourselves totally to Him, submitting ourselves totally to Him? Here's a few things, okay? Possessions, popularities, yeah. fears, and procrastination. Yeah. Possessions, belongings, belongings, you know, goods, wealth. These are some of the things, possessions. Popularities, yeah. approval, man's <laughs> approval, God pleasers, I mean, yeah. excuse me, people pleasers. Acceptance into whatever club, whatever neighborhood, whatever area you want to be into. Acceptance, fame, and reputation. Man, you got to have the reputation. I'm the guy, man. I'm Joe Cool, man. <laughs> I, I, I got to put my glasses back on. <laughs> I'm Joe Cool, man. Will you accept me now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're cool, man. Yeah, well, guess what? That's one of uh, distractions. Yeah. Popularity, mm. fear, anxieties, worries, distress, fright, panic. This comes on anybody if you let it. Amen. It attacks every all every one of us mm -hmm. if you let it. God did not give us a spirit of fear, yeah, but yeah. of power, love, and of a sound mind. Okay. Yeah. So you need to accept those things when you feel it coming on you. Say, wait a minute. <laughs> I ain't receiving it. This is not a dump. I'm not a trash can. I'm not receiving that mess, okay? You got to go somewhere else. You got you, you to gotta be bold, amen? Just like you're bold when you tell somebody, oh, oh excuse me, you don't do that. <laughs> you tell, you know, but you got to stand your ground when you stand, come against the enemy. You say, wait a minute, who do you think you are? You're not going to walk on me anymore. You're not going to drive me anymore. You're not going to hold me back anymore. I'm taking authority. I'm going to do what God wants me to do. And yeah. greater is he that sent me than he that's in the world. That's it. Press on. Jesus is willing to change you, but you won't 
but he won't violate your will. That's, That's one thing he gave you. He gave you your own will. Yes. So you know what? <laughs> so if you've been taking a lot of church breaks, <laughs> he's not going to stop you. That's it. Just stop taking them breaks and come, come join us. We're, 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 we're assembling ourselves every time, every Sunday. You must be willing to choose him, surrender, and totally submit yourself to him. Whew. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but it's Praise blessing God. me. You got to let go and let God. And let God. Yeah. You got to write that somewhere. Mm -hmm. Just write it down. Say, I'm letting go and I'm letting God. And you got to let him have, have control. Choose to change. And give back to God what is already his. You're his. You know when he went to the cross? He bought you back. Father wanted to buy his people back. So he sacrificed his son. Jesus went to the cross and he was sacrificed. But before he gave himself back to the Father, he says, Father, forgive him. Yeah. He said, okay, forgive us, you know. So all these things, people, all these things that have been holding you back, that you have guilt, all these other things, you know, just, just let them go. Yeah. Amen. Jesus, if Jesus can forgive me and forget it, you can too. Why are you still holding on to it? Yeah. Why is it stopping you? Why does it come up all the time? You know why yeah. it comes up all the time? Uh -huh. And it recycles over and over? over because and over. you haven't stopped it. Yeah. It's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. You, you have to say, wait a minute. Jesus paid for it. And I'm leaving it there. I'm not yeah. taking it back. So I'm not going to think this anymore. Mm -hmm. So I cancel that. Delete, delete, delete. All that stuff. Say, nope. That's not for me. Not anymore. Yeah. You're talking to the wrong person. You're in the wrong address. Yeah. <laughs> we must turn loose of the excuses. I know you all don't hear me. We must turn loose of the excuses and things yeah. that hold us back. Okay. They're going to jump on you if you let them. Yes. They're going to distract you if you let them. Yes. Keeps us from achieving, uh, uh, receiving, and enjoying what God has for us. Mm -hmm. These things are going to jump on you in a heartbeat. Oh, man, you go talk to somebody and they got bigger problems than you do. Oh, boy. So you got to be careful who you mm -hmm. vent yourself to. Vent yourself to him. He already knows you. Mm -hmm. And he knows you and he knows the worst about you. And guess what? He still loves you. He loves you the most. Yes. Amen. So you can go to him anytime. Father, <laughs> I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. You know, I've sinned against you. He says, I know. But you know what? It's okay. Come anytime and mm -hmm. give it to him. Every time. And don't let it just hound you down. Yes, yes. I said, well, I gave it to the Father. I ain't taking it back. If he forgot it, if he forgave me and, for, and forgot about it, so can I. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I got other things to think about. Mm -hmm. Like pressing on with what God wants me to do. Amen. Amen. Woo well, this is not for you. This is just for me. But uh, you got to get off. <laughs> como, your como se llama? <laughs> All right now. <laughs> you got to get off your como se llama and give up distractions. Give up your little comfy places. Yes. Give up your excuses. Come on now. Stop procrastinating. Stop the fearing and step out mm -hmm. in faith and get ready to serve him. Yes. So Amen. So basically drop your family, right? Praise God. <laughs> <laughs> Says, be a participator. Be a teammate. <laughs> Listen, participator. Committed, participator, you are committed, you are submitted, you're available, mm -hmm. and I'm a competitor, or I'm a teammate. Mm -hmm. As a body of Christ, we are united, and we work together, mm -hmm. and we're teammates, and we're going to do this. We're going to get this done. Yeah. Enemy comes, and he tries to divide us. Mm -hmm. Well, you're this, and you're this, mm -hmm. and you're this. When we get to heaven, there ain't going to be no mm -hmm. special places for different denominations. <laughs> Only the body of Christ. That's it. Amen. So, you confess him as your Lord and Savior. You're saved. You know you're a child of God. And you're going to be a participator. So, Lord, mm -hmm. here am I. What is it you want me to do? Big or small, doesn't matter. That's Just it. do it under him. Lord, I'm doing this under you. Mm -hmm. Some people, you're going to take off some people. You're going to run them the wrong way. Yeah. Still, I'm doing this under you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Whether you please people or not. Mm -hmm. Please God. Be a God pleaser, not a people pleaser. That's it. Because they, you know, they want you to be lazy. They want you to do, be lazy and do nothing. No. Nope. Just like, like them. Just say, hey, I tried that. You know, it don't work. 
you press on to the things of God. Amen. Don't let people dictate to you or yes. make excuses for you and say, join me. You know, hey, I, I'm sitting in a comfy place, you know, and doing nothing. Hmm. Now, here's the spectator. The spectator, he don't want us to be a spectator. Hmm. Why well, I didn't read them all to you. It says, uh, competitor, partic participant, partaker, and team, team uh, player. The spectators are outside people. They're watching, they're observing, they're looking, yeah. they're judging, they're critiquing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're criticizing. They're fault finders. Oh, come they're on. They're dream killers. Mm. So you got to be careful. So, you know, pray for me. I tell you all the time, say, pray for me when I'm up here, you know. Some of you may be judging, critiquing, <laughs> you know. Well, he don't stand right. He don't look right. He don't dress right. <laughs> You know, he should call me here different, you know, what, whatever, you know. You got some spite for you. <laughs> if, if, if you're doing that, stop it. Because you're missing out on what God has for you. That's it. Amen. You're too busy doing your own critiquing. And God can't even reach you. You know, remember the lady that told the pastor? She says, I'm not coming next from now on, pastor, because uh, I was looking around and people are talking, people are playing in their phones and people are just doing all kinds of things except listening to what you have to say. <laughs> he says, before you leave, before you go, and do this for me. He says, gave her a glass of water. He said, walk around the church here, uh, sanctuary here, several times, you know. And she said, oh, but don't spill it, you know. Just just focus. And you get a glass of full water. She walked around and around, came back to him and says, did you spill any water? says, no, no, I was too busy focused on the, on the water, you know, so I didn't drop anything. That's what you need to do when pastor's preaching. Yeah. When the word of God is going out, you know, focus mm -hmm. on what God has for you. Amen. And that way, you're not distracted and miss right. because you're too busy focusing on what everybody else is doing. Else is doing. Mm -hmm. What about you? Did you catch anything? Mm -hmm. What did pastor preach on? <laughs> I don't know. Choose Jesus. Choose Jesus daily. <laughs> Two, number two. <laughs> so let's remember, we can all take this simple example and use it. Remember, I told you about the about the about, about the eagle. <laughs> this man found an eagle out in the mountains, and he brought it, and he couldn't put it in any other place, so he put it in the in the, in the chicken coop, mm. and he grew up with the chickens, uh. and he got well. Mm. And a ranger came by and says, "What are you doing with this eagle here?" He says, he belongs up in the air, you know, loose, flying high. He said, okay, well, go ahead. <laughs> and he grabs it and he throws it up and he flies down and gets on the, on the ground and walks over to the chickens. Mm -hmm. Does that several times. We need to be careful who we around yeah, because we're going to copy yeah. what we're around. I'm an eagle. I'm a great. I'm king of birds, of all birds. <laughs> Man, I am mighty. And I'm supposed to fly high. And now I'm hanging around with the chickens and all I'm doing is scratching and eating the wrong food. You know, hanging out with the wrong crowd that's stopping me from doing what God wants me to do. What God brought, put me here to do. What happened to the eagle? The ranger finally takes it. The ranger... The ranger finally takes him out of that crowd, that company, mm -hmm. takes him way up in the hills, up in the mountains, and just go walks up to a cliff, you know, close to the cliff, and just releases him. And that bird couldn't do anything except fly. fly. And he took off, and he's flying the way God meant it to fly. Mm -hmm. He wants to do the same thing with you. He's put you here to win. We're hanging around the wrong things, doing the wrong things, full of excuses, you know, and adopted to different ways of living because hanging out with the wrong crowd. You got to be careful. You know, if you want to know how you're supposed to live and be, get in the Word. And it tells you and releases you to be what God calls you to be. Those, just some simple, simple, simple lessons. Amen. Oh, my gosh. Hallelujah. Mm -mm. Oh, thank you, Carl. <laughs> I forgot about them. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Faith requires us to trust, yes. step out, 
of your boat. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody coming out of their boat, everybody coming out of their oh, closet. Jesus. Well, it's time people know yeah. that you're a child of God, mm -hmm. that you're a Christian, or you're yeah. one of them. Yeah. Yeah, don't be embarrassed mm -hmm. for people to know that you're a child of God. Amen. Yeah. And I'm bringing the good news mm -hmm. to a lost, negative mm -hmm. world, dying world. Yes. Amen. And you're bringing them life. Amen. You're bringing the light of Jesus. Amen. Woo. Come on there. Amen. Amen. Say oh, amen or oh me. <laughs> Let go of all excuses that are holding us back. Yeah. Amen. And think one scripture at a time. One scripture break at a time. Mm -hmm. Philippians 4.13. I can do all things. Jose can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Lord, you give me the strength each and every day to go and do what you want me to do. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Right. And uh, uh, 1 John 4, 4 says, You are of God, little children, mm -hmm. and have overcome them because he who is in you is greater than he that is in the world. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, you can't come against the world by yourself? Mm -hmm. No, I can't come against the world by myself. Yes. But greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Yes. Amen. My God is bigger. Yes. Everyone gets a chance at a new start, a new beginning. Yes. And if we talked about uh, 2 Corinthians uh, 5.17. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Old is gone, the new is in. Yes. Mm -hmm. I got yeah. one again. People are going to see you and say, you're the same person. Mm -hmm. I say, maybe on the outside I look yeah, the same. But on it. the inside, I am reborn. Yeah, that's it. I'm a new Christian. Amen. I'm a new believer. And I'm yes. going to start walking Amen. and doing for God. Amen. And my words and my actions are going to change. Yes. I'm not going to hang around with them and please them anymore. I'm going to please my God. Amen. 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 They're going to see a difference. I said, wait a minute. You look the same, but you sound different, mm -hmm. and you're doing different. That's yeah. right. That's right. I'm a, yeah. new I'm a new Christian. I'm a new believer. Yes. New creature. The old is gone. The new is in. Your choice. You choose. Mm -hmm. Nobody can do it for you. Don't let yeah. them choose for you. Because they're going to say, hey, come join us. No. You, you, don't, you don't have to do that. Huh. I think I said this, and uh, y'all like this, but confessing and living or dying and frying oh. <laughs> is your choice. Don't let nobody hold you in their decision for you. Either you're confessing. What are you confessing? I'm confessing what the Word of God says. I'm confessing the Word. I'm speaking the Word. What's confessing? Conf uh, speaking the Word. Amen. Live in the word. Or you're dying and you're frying. You know, you can't make an excuse when if if you go down instead of going up. Who are you gonna to complain to in in hell? Yeah. 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 They don't care. They don't they don't care. They don't care. They're they're all frying. Yeah. <laughs> I want to encourage you, there is hope in, in him and Jesus. So don't accept so don't accept change and new beginnings well at all. Mm -hmm. Some some people will not accept it at all. Mm -hmm. So you receive it, amen. amen. We're all amen. set in our ways. Mm -hmm. Amen. We're all set in our ways. People are set in their ways. The yeah. way they think, traditions. Yeah. I'm not going to change. My grandparents did it this way. Oh. My, or my ancestors, my grandparents, my parents did it this way. Mm -hmm. And they don't want me to change. Mm -hmm. And just for speaking for myself, I was brought yeah. up this way. Mm -hmm. And I changed when I found, when I read the word for myself. Yes. And I says, I'm going to choose Jesus. Mm -hmm. Regardless of how my folks or my ancestors grew up. This is what the word of God says. I'm choosing the word of God for myself. Yeah. I'm not letting people, even my family, tell me how I am to serve God. Yeah. Amen. So, hallelujah. Amen. We're so yeah. set in our ways. Yeah. Already said, too hard to work. Religion, mindsets, and traditions. Mm. That's hard. Just like trying to work with uh, old concrete, you know. You, no. can't, you can't mess with it now. It's all set already. Yeah. And once it's set, forget it. You got to start all over. We're so set in our ways, just like that old concrete. Mm. So choose Jesus. In him we have new change, new beginning. We're new creatures in Christ. We have a new life. A new way of life. We are his ministers of reconciliation. We got something to do. We didn't we weren't put here to just be comfy and lazy and do nothing. That's right. 
We're ministers of reconciliation. How am I going to get the? How is he going to get the word out? Well, he's the head, and we're the body. He's going to yeah. send his body, the church, to go out yes, and minister amen. to people, share with people. Amen. Do the closest thing to a Bible. Some people be around, and when you're speaking the word and letting people know, well, how did you become like this? Trust in Jesus. Yes. Receiving Jesus. Trust in Jesus. Having faith in Jesus. Amen. And you can do the same thing. All you have to do is confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus. Amen. Whew. Hallelujah. Glory. Amen. We're his ambassador. We're his mouthpiece. He's the head. We're his body. Yes. The body has a mouth. So we're going to speak. Okay. Yeah. We are his ambassadors. Give, uh, forgetting the past and pressing on with new change, new life, new beginning. Mm -hmm. See yourself this way. Yes. I don't hang out with the old crowd anymore. You know what the old crowd is going to have you do? If you don't renew your mind with the Word of God, the old crowd is going to drag you back. It happens to everybody. Yes. You're going to fall back and you're going to keep taking them church breaks and the world is going to grab a hold of you and he's going to, they're going to drag you right back into what you used to do. Why hang around with skunks, you know? Oh, yes. <laughs> you're going to start smelling like a skunk. Yeah. So you got to be careful. We're up, we've all messed up once in a while. We say things, we regret things, we wish he hadn't uh, said. We hurt people we love, and we disappoint people. So we have to be careful. Where are we at? Keep going. Let me see what we got. There we go. We talked about John fourteen six. You see, there's a gap between. There's a gap right there. There's man and there's God. The only way to get to God is through Jesus. Amen. Amen. And Jesus mm -hmm. said to him, says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through me. Yes. You want to get to heaven? That's yes. the only way to get right. to heaven. Yes. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. So here we go. This is how we do it. Mm -hmm. This all happens to everybody, but through him, we can change. We can have a new start we can have a new beginning turn our backs on the past mess ups on the past failures it's okay mm -hmm. we've all messed up yeah but that's okay let it go confess it to him he forgives and forgets we need to forgive and forget and this is what he says says start here confess him as lord and savior if you don't have confess him now start today this, it's never too late. Everyone yeah. confessed him. That's it. Amen. We need to confess him. Yeah. First John one uh, nine and ten, and we're close with this. Amen. It says First John one, chapter one, verse nine and ten says this: If we, or I, and you can write your name on there, confess our sins, mm -hmm. he is faithful yeah. and just to forgive yeah. us yeah. of our sins and yeah. to cleanse yeah. us From of all, all unrighteousness. unrighteousness. For if we say that we have not sinned, we have made we have made him a liar, and his word is not in us. Okay, so if you confess him mm -hmm. as your Lord, and you don't have to be in church, mm -hmm. you could be at home, you could be driving, you could be whatever. Yes. But if you have confessed him as your Lord and Savior, Let's do it. He is your Lord and Savior, and you are saved, and you're going to heaven. Mm -hmm. He says, only through him. Yeah. He's going to fill the gap, and. You're going to be born again. Amen. So praise God. <laughs> so church, we cannot get caught up in this trap. This is not for us. This is uh, not God's best for us. Amen. He paid a full price. And he wants us to receive him. Absolutely. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Did you get it? Yes. Did you get anything? Yes. Or were you too busy critiquing me? No. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Well, thank you, Father. We receive your word, Father. And we're going to start yeah. living your word, Father God, and going out and being ministers of reconciliation for you, Father, in Jesus' yes. name. If you've never confessed in this time, it's never too late. Now the time, yeah. you know. Yeah. All you have to do is just say, Lord Jesus, I've sinned against you. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. If you confess that, yeah. he'll come and he'll be your Lord and Savior. Yeah. Amen. But now it's time for you to start uh Reading the word. Start going to church. Quit taking them church books. <laughs> and press on with the yes, things of God, you know? Amen. 
You know, as pastor, I have to change. You know, I, I tell Patricia, I says, well, I'm not going to church today. She says, but you have to be the pastor. <laughs> I can't make excuses, so I got to be here. You know, say, okay, Lord. <laughs> you have to make that decision on a daily basis. I can make excuses if I wasn't. Well, I worked all week. You know, how, as a matter of fact, I worked all day yesterday. Yeah. And I got home to study late and get the church, I mean the song service, and get the message ready. Get the ribs ready. And get a barbecue <laughs> for your fellowship. Amen. And you know what? I'm here this morning excited for Jesus. You can, you can be the same thing. Attitude is a little thing makes a big difference. Oh, yeah. Amen. Yeah. So let's remember that. You know, if you got a bad attitude, change it before you go anywhere. Oh, Nobody needs your bad attitude, you know. You need to have what kind of attitude you're gonna have? A Jesus attitude. A good, positive attitude, not a negative attitude, you know. Everybody has that. You know, you know, I I make it when I go visit places and I go to places of businesses when I see people working, I walk up to them and I tell, tell them, you know, you know, I appreciate what you do, you know, and they let you leave them with something nice yes, instead of, yes. you know, well, nobody's around, you know, uh -huh. or oh, this place is a mess. Mm -hmm. I let them know, thank you for what you do. Amen. Amen. So anyway, you've confessed him as your Lord and Savior, so make sure you start living for him. Yeah. Amen. Watch your words, watch your actions. Amen. Go get yes. you a Bible. Get, start going to a Bible-based church, you know, where they study the word. Yes. And that's what we do. We confess the word. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. If you have sickness in your body, just speak over your body. Yes. I speak over my body all the time. My body's telling me, I feel sick. I feel this way. I feel that way. I say, wait a minute. The Bible says that by Jesus Christ, I'm healed. Yes. So I'm confessing healing over my body. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Malfunctions. My body felt malfunctioning. I say, but you go function the way God created you to function. So be healed now in Jesus' name. Body, receive your healing. And I receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If you're giving, you're watching, listening, let's go to our website. It should be on the screen there. NBCBigBen.com. Hit that donate button if you're mailing it. NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. And now you can do Cash App, which is New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. God loves you. Pastor loves you. <laughs> Have a blessed day. Amen. Amen. Hello. Hello. God said you got a gold mine out there. Yeah. Children's <laughs> gold mine. Uh, Pastor Jose, I need to hear. I see the light still on there. Put <laughs> <laughs> well, somebody to see. Yeah. Well, yeah. Huh? Can you get it up there? Huh? Yeah, it's still on. Man, my grass is up here. I can all do nothing. <laughs> 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 it won't be fun.